My name is Monteria Robinson. I am the mother of Jamarian Robinson. First off, we would like to, I would like to thank the Art of Justice for traveling to Atlanta to help assist me in getting justice for my son. Next and foremost, I would like to send our condolences to the Ahmaud Aubrey and Rashad Brooks family. Let me, uh, let me tell you all who Jamarian Robinson was. Jamarian Robinson was a student athlete at Tuskegee University. He was a biology major. Jamar was kind, humorous, athletic, and loving. But on August the 5th, Jamarian was visiting his girlfriend when approximately about 1.30 p.m. her door was battle ram opened by 17 road police officers from Atlanta to Fulton County, to Fayette County, to Clayton County, to East Point, to U.S. Marshal Service with no warrant. Over 90 rounds were fired at my son. Over 90 rounds were fired at my son. Then after that, Flashbang grenades were thrown at him, landing on him, burning him. Then after that, someone walked up the stairs, stood over him, and shot down into his body, not three times, but five times. No. My forensic expert, and I do have experts, not one expert, not two experts, not three experts, not four. So I know what I'm talking about, and it's all facts. It's all facts. It's the truth. And I am angry about someone approaching me, telling me what to say and what not to say. Because yeah, I'm the mother. Okay. Let I do not appreciate that. This is not a political platform. Oh. This platform is for the families. Bang grenades that landed on my son, burning him. Someone walked up the stairs, stood over him, shot down into his body five times. Then, after that, he was handcuffed and drawn down a flight of stairs. <laughs> that's my girl, that's my mama. She don't play. She like me. She don't play. And we want justice for our families. Let's go. Stairs. They drop his body in the living room where he laid there for over eight hours with no medical aid rendered. Eight hours. Eight. After that, my mother and my brothers, they all arrived on the scene. My mother was like, why? 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 Why would you all do something like that? They stated, Oh, we were looking for him from a week ago. He pointed a gun at a police officer and took off running. I have all my expert reports. There's no evidence of that. The picture that they showed my mom at the scene was not even my son. My brother showed them what my, my son looked like. They took that photo, dropped it on the news that night, and stated East Point man had a shootout with police today. So that was the false narrative that they dropped to the media. That's why my son's story never made world news or national news. Because it was a cover up. My son, Jamari Robinson case is one of the most heinous cases in U.S. history. But not isolation to the other families here with me today. We are here today in solidarity because we have been overlooked. But we are here to inform Georgia that we will no longer be overlooked. As Georgia is starting, or shall I say, trying to get it right, it is time that we move forward and work together and stop pointing the finger at who is right and who is wrong. We are here to, de to demand justice for our families for those whose voices that have been silenced. Our children were victims of this systematic, genocidal policy of oppression, terror, and dehumanization. This has been a policy of the United States for over 400 years. That policy has taken different forms from slavery to black coal laws, 
to Jim Crow, to today new Jim Crow of mass incarceration and police terror. Some of us have been fighting for seven years, five years, four years, with no justice and no accountability. We are tired of the excuses from our district attorneys stating that there were no body cameras in our cases. The last time I checked, our kid's body was the body camera. Isn't this enough evidence right here behind me? My son was shot six times in the palm of his right hand, five times in the palm of his left hand, all down his arms, his torso, his thighs, his groin, his shins, his feet, and I am angry. We wake up every day angry. What do we want? Justice. and the number of other cases that had video footage was justified by the system. As Bernice King said so well the other day, what affects one of us affects all of us. This is a shift, as she so kindly stated. This is a movement. Either you get on this bus or you get off of it. We are all fighting the same beast. The time is now. It's time for a shift. It's time for a change. The revolution is here, whether they want it or not. If, if our children cases would have been addressed, then there would not have been a George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, Rashad Brooks, and the countless of other murders that have occurred. There has been over 130 cases here in Atlanta since 2015, a brown and black children killed by police. Facts. 130, and nobody is talking about it. Nobody is talking about it. We are ranked number 10 with the most fatal police shootings. Facts. Facts. If our children cases, I'm sorry. We are tired of waking up every day angry. Some of us wake up depressed. Some of us wake up sad. We cannot move forward until we get the justice that we deserve. If the national media outlets won't cover our stories, then our black media outlets will. Until these district attorneys do right by our families, this city is going to crumble. This city is going to crumble. If you don't see us, then we are going to make you see us. I have been coming out into the community since May 29th, attending different rallies, marches, and protests over the last several weeks. I have not seen one poster of any of our children here today. We had to make our own. But I've seen several of other people from other states. Right. I am angry about that as well. Right. Why we got to make our own posters and flyers? I have people in other states reaching out to me saying, what is Georgia doing? Why are they walking around with posters from people from other states? When y'all have your own deaths in your very own state. To everyone here today, listening to the sound of my voice, if you live in Georgia, then we must fight for Georgia. We ask you to stay focused, that you stay on the course. We must fight for Georgia, and together we will win. This is a revolution. Once again, this is a revolution. This is a movement. We want to make Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X proud of us. So that the future generation of brown and black people won't have to deal with police brutality and other injustices that we have faced in society today. I fight for my son. 
I fight for the other families here in Georgia with me today. I fight for your children, and I pray if God is willing that your child will not be the next one, and you will not be standing here with us the next time. Your children are in danger. That's right. Again, your children are in danger. I have a question to all the parents out here. What picture will you choose or would you choose for your child or yourself in the, in the event your child was murdered by police?